seven lanes have been shut down and as you have seen, it is a, I'm, I'm gonna stand up and walk over to the television monitor here so I can see it a little closer. But again, we're counting seven different lanes and uh, right now they're not going anywhere. The only person who is going anywhere is our intrepid Doug Richards, who is now making his way onto the freeway. Last time we saw you, Doug, you were below it. Why don't you tell us where you are now? All right. Hey, Jeff, uh, it turns out we're on the shoulder of Interstate I-75 and 85 now. Uh, over in the distance, you will see uh, folks who are blocking the highway. Uh, as Crash Clark, I think, said, seven lanes of highway. And, um, oh, and, and what's interesting is that there was an organizational element, Jeff, uh, to answer your question, where they asked the folks to uh, who were they asked the white people who were part of the protest to go up on the highway and to be at the front of the protest and um, as we uh, go up here uh, we see that most of uh, what i see anyway is uh, most of the folks who are blocking the highway are white folks um, and the the thinking of behind that was by the organizers that the police would be less likely to confront white people than they would if black people did uh, block the highway. So how, how diverse, uh, Doug, how, can you hear me? And, how, and, how it, and it seems to be working. How diverse yeah. is the group of protesters tonight? Uh, you know, my, I, I was looking at that earlier. I would say it's probably 80% black folks, but um, you know, there are hundreds of white people here. So, um, and they're and they're enthusiastic and they want to help and um, so when they were called upon to uh, be in the front um, not all of them went but uh, there are enough of them out there now to uh, to block the highway and, and my next and, uh, and most of those uh, yes my, my other absolutely my other the, question the, for the, you is the as I, folks out there are white as i take a look at these pictures doug what sort of law enforcement presence do you see we see a number of apd lights that are flashing, at least in the pictures that we're seeing here uh, at 11 Alive and that viewers are seeing right now. But on the ground, what sort of law enforcement presence are you seeing? And I'm going to ask you to compare and contrast to what you've seen over the course of the last week and two weeks, if you would. Well, mostly it's been uh, Atlanta police that I've seen here. On the highway, it's, uh, it's uh, Georgia State Patrol and some other state police. But uh, the, the few, uh, you know, there really haven't been that many police officers in the neighborhood. Most of them have been blocking the highway and you see a lot of state police blocking the highway. You also see military trucks blocking the highway. It appears that uh, either the National Guard uh, made a return visit or uh, some police agencies that have military trucks were also called in to help block the access points to the interstate, so. Um, Doug, anyway, I have yes, a couple mostly, of questions mostly for you. Mostly Atlanta police, though, until you get onto the highway and then you see state police. And Doug, I'm seeing some reports on social media. I don't know from your vantage point what you can and can't see, but have you seen officers make any arrests at all since you've been there? I haven't seen any arrests. We saw the confrontation that we talked about uh, a little while ago where uh, some you know, smoke bombs were exploded and some bottles were thrown. I didn't see any arrests. There may have been one, but I didn't see any. Uh, I, I haven't seen any arrests. I, you know, I mean, for the most part, the police are are being very, uh, res very restrained. I mean, the fact that they haven't shut, that they haven't opened the highways, and don't appear to be making a move to open the highways, uh, I think is a is a good gauge of the restraint they're showing at this point. Right, and we've seen the military vehicles move in onto the interstate. There, have you seen any of the uh, the, the National Guardsmen walk out of those vehicles and get into formation or anything, anything of that sort? Uh, no, uh, the police, uh, the police formations have been uh, pretty haphazard, I think. They're, uh, uh, yeah, I, no, there hasn't been any sort of like comfort. Oh, wait a minute. Well, here we go now. Now a Marta bus has, uh, uh, is unloading um, what appear to be riot-clad 
what are those? Those appear to be those Atlanta police officers. Yeah, from, from yeah, what we're seeing Atlanta here, police officers. we're seeing uh, officers in what looks like riot gear getting out of that martyr bus right now. Lots of them. I, yeah, they're coming off of a martyr bus. They are facing in the opposite, in the wrong direction on the northbound lanes of I-75. Um, there are two, four, three, four. There are probably uh, probably about 60 of them there, um, and it's unclear where they are going. How but are protesters the, uh, reacting uh, to them coming out of the off of their are, bus? The, actually, the the highway is not being blocked on the side of the road that they are on, which is which is uh, the northbound side. In order for those folks to be effective against this blockade, they will need to cross this berm here and. Uh, get on the get on the southbound lanes. 